Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're in the garden. We're going to be setting up an additional IBC tote for the collection of rainwater, like you see the system behind me. Currently we have four 275 gallon tanks. And with the expansions we've been doing around here, there's really just not enough water to be collected each after each rainstorm. So we decided to add another IBC. So we'll get another 275 gallons in here. And then eventually we're going to adjust the way that the water is collected so that we can have additional uh, usage of the opposite side of the barn here to collect double the amount of water. But for now, this is where we're going to get started. So what you're, wanting, what you're going to want to do is first check out the previous videos and how we made the first setup here. It's very simple, very easy for you to start collecting your own rainwater and making it easy for you too to water your garden from the rain and not from your well or from the city water or any other random source. So for this project, obviously, you're going to need a IBC tote. Um, you're going to need some leveling rocks or bricks or something you have laying around to make sure that the actual IBC stay, it stays level and doesn't sink into the ground the next time it rains. So for that, we have some uh, paper bricks that I have. You're also going to need a cutting tool. So you could either have the pipe cutting um, pipe cutters. You could have a uh, sawzall. Um, whatever works. We're going to try and go with the, the pipe cutters first, the uh, PVC pipe cutters, and then the Sawzall if it's necessary. Um, you're going to also need some 2-inch PVC because the rest of our piping is 2-inch PVC. So in order to connect back, let's just keep it the same. You're going to need couplings, and because I'm connecting to the existing and then setting up for a additional one in the future, um, I have two of them just in case I want to set that up now, but I'll probably end cap it for this project and then come back and cut it off when necessary. Just makes things a lot easier, make sure it's not going to leak. I don't have to worry about anything. You also need a T or some kind of uh, uh, bend for your PVC so that it will connect to the IBC tote. And then you need a IBC connection. So they sell them on Amazon. You could buy them as well. Um, I just went with the Home Depot special because I had a few extra pipes in my garage and I figure I'm not going to spend money if I don't have to. So IBC totes, the actual mail bit that comes out, um, which you're going to connect to, is either going to have a fine thread or a coarse, thicker thread. Um, that is going to be dependent on what you're going to need as your connector here. For ours, it is the fine thread and I will show you how See, it's very fine, and this will allow us to connect nicely. You might see these additions from the last time if you check the previous videos, link down below for setting these up. We still have our rain catchment system, which has been working well. This is purchased off Amazon. It essentially just captures the downspout of our um, gutters, and the water will run into here. Inside here is actually a screen that will block any of the large debris or small debris from going into your tank and contaminating the water and it'll just accumulate in here and then if i pick this up and go here now i can take this out empty out anything that came through and put it back so now it's set up and ready to go for the next time uh, that connects down to another uh, special here where this pipe is actually has a little plastic ball inside and it floats up and it floats up once it fills up a water after that first rain and it'll stop here. So then it, if there is anything that bypasses the first screen, it'll get caught down below, which drips out. And then the excess water, which is the clean water as we would expect, would then come down our pipe here and into the IBC through the head nozzle. So that's the setup we have now. And then the overflow would be on the opposite end where it has another piece coming through. And if anything is going to uh, be past the limits of these bins, so over the 1600 gallons once this is in in installed, I believe, uh, then it will bypass this unit and then go straight out into the yard. So it's not going to be creating any structural issues for this if there's an overflow. Another thing you see here is this blue tube and the blue tube connects to a on off switch here. This switch is always on and it's actually connected to a float pump. So if this ends up being empty and we're not going to have rain for a month or so, 
um, or, or weeks or whatever time, uh, time frame that we don't have any water, we can, if we opt to, um, just turn this on and then this will start filling up our totes with well water. Um, so that is helpful or whatever water that is, it's, this is connected to. So just uh, another improvement since before. Um, the, the, the all cool. right, uh, so one of the chickens had an encounter with a fox, uh, but it's live, so we're good to go. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put the IBC tote in place so we can mark off the corners and figure out where we're gonna put the base bricks that will be the support so that it doesn't dip down into the uh, dirt once it rains next, so let's do that. So it looks like there's about a two inch gap from the top of the old IBC tote line to this new IBC tote, so we'll have to account for that extra two inches um, so that it's not gonna be wasted space. Uh, if it's actually not in a line and you have one up and one down and left and right, then you're only gonna be having to be able to keep what's level in water across all of the units. So that, uh, that's something to think about, making sure that things are level uh, or at least as level as they can be. I don't know if you noticed there, but uh, when I like to, when I deal with sod or something like that, I like to break it up into the bricks. And it just makes it overall like easier to, um, Clean up. So you make your line where you're going, make your cross cuts, so then it's easier to pull out. And then you finish with the last cut, which is the scoop. We go dump the uh, dirt somewhere the chickens could play in it and uh, I'll come back and finish this up. So they're not necessary, but they definitely will make your life easier if you have two additional tools. One would be a four foot level because it's four foot wide. And then two is a tamper. So after you've dug up things and are mixing around your either rock or if you're just using the dirt base and in some places that is fine, um, then you're going to want to compact it, making sure that it's going to not move and settle after your 275 gallon uh, tote is filled to the brim and on this location. Because you don't want to do it twice. You don't want to cut open your uh, pipeline twice. It's it's less of a process, more of a problem than uh, it is to just do it right the first time. So. I'm gonna use my tamper and set up these bricks and see where I have to do to get them level. So the entire area doesn't have to be level, just the corners, and then you have to be able to have a straight line on each edge. It's an empty space underneath this IBC, so the middle doesn't matter that much. It's an IBC tote, not your house, so if it's slightly not level, that's all right. But you don't want it significantly on level where it's gonna to topple over or put stress on the pipes. So, all right. All right, so we're looking good. That means it's time to Put it in place and see how it works. So, as I was mentioning earlier, um, I had to account for the two inches between IBC tote one and two in its leveling, but I forgot to factor in the brick. So I am still an inch off. So I'm going to now adjust that. So I get that inch back right here in the hole by changing the brick down another inch. So let's remove it and do it again. And that's important. So that's gonna be important because down here, see the, the actual pipe right here has to line up in a straight line. So it's very humid if you couldn't tell. I'm sweating, but uh, we have the ground level and we're gonna put the IBC tote in place. And once that's in place, we'll start doing all the connections. All right, so it's time to start getting connected to the rest of the IBC totes. But before we do that, one of the nice things about the IBC totes is they have the lever that you could turn on and off the water. So this one actually, when I moved it over here, had a little bit of water in there, as you can see. And once we cut open the main line, we don't want all of the water from the rest of the tanks to pour out. So I'm going to turn off all of the rest of the tanks so that I can start cutting off and connecting to the new one. Now that they're all off, this will uh, have a little bit of excess that's left in the piping come out once I cut it but that's fine. Um, we're gonna first try and cut it with our PVC pipe cutters and see if that works out for us. 
Um, I've done this once before with the pipe cutters and it just didn't necessarily work out as I expected. So I brought the Sawzall as a backup, but let's try it out. So if you saw in the previous video, um, this line was connected and then we had a basically like a septic close pipe. Uh, I can get the, uh, I was thinking about it just a second ago, but I guess I could get the, um, get the pliers and cut this off uh, and, and open this up, but um, I have the extra parts and I don't want to walk over to the garage. So I'm just going to cut this off. Yep. Alrighty. So that's what happened last time. Just gonna get rid of this excess. Not a big deal. Whatever was in the tube. Alright, so this is not the right tool for the job, but this is the tool I have, so I'm gonna make it work. And you can see the water stopped coming out, so I'm just gonna file down the edge so it's a little cleaner to uh, connect to the coupling, which will then connect to the PVC that's connected to the outport of this one. And you're gonna take your two inch coupling and just place it over here. You have to loosen it up first. It's a 10 millimeter socket as per, oh no, it's an eight millimeter socket on this one. So just loosen that up. There, I'm just gonna leave that there for now. And then we're gonna tighten everything down once we have it fitted. Next we have the um, fine thread PVC connection here. And we pull off the sticker just so that there's a clean bind. All I'm gonna do is screw it on. All right, so we have plenty of space to wiggle this around. The bricks are centered so that um, I can move it left or right if necessary, because you might have to move it an inch or two. The fine, um, the fine thread PVC connection is connected to the IBC. Right here, we have the connection port, the connection two inch PVC, um, and the coupling put together for the old PVC to the new PVC. And now we're gonna take this um, uh, joint here, this T-joint. Well, this is not a T-joint, but it's close enough. This is what I had. Um, and then I'm going to just line things up so I can start putting it together for the to be finished. So, all right. What you're gonna need next is the extra PVC that you had. Um, and what you're gonna do is cut off a very small section because that is what is going to connect um, the PVC that is connected to the IBC to the uh, joint that's going to connect to the rest of the totes. So, let's go right here. Make sure this is clean. Okay. Set the primer and the sealer. Get her in there. Beautiful. Put white side up. All right, just like that better. Um, uh, this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little shish going by, this on this side, that side, whoopsie daisy, alrighty, now I'm going to catch this part, excess piece here. Too bad I don't have a full one. But that's fine. There is one more part. That's gonna be the end cap. And the end cap is just gonna go over this and we're gonna put it in place and seal it off and the next time we can cut this piece off and connect a new one if necessary. So let's finish this up. All right, so we're all set, tools are away. The IBC tote has time to dry. So now we're gonna turn on the rest of these just before the rain comes in and allow them to start filling up the main, this other compartment. Um, so everything will level out and have extra space for whatever rain we have today. Well, there you have it. We'll see you again for the next project. Bye.